There is a hidden history that's been deliberately obfuscated from the peoples of the world. And that's why I am on the trail of the Nephilim. The Genesis 6 narrative states that the Nephilim are on the earth in those days and also afterwards. If that's true, can we find evidence that corroborates this? I'm L.A. Marzulli. Join me as we go on the trail of the Nephilim. We'll get into a very short little clip here, and I think you'll find it interesting. Um, and I can't remember the gentleman who sent it to me. I, I scoured my email boxes to try to find it. I put in words like giants, prehistoric man, and all this other stuff. Please for, forgive me for not giving at least your first name and a shout out. But it's amazing how we get uh, reports like this from people, old newspaper clips. And I think you'll find this interesting. But first, a word from our trusted sponsor. Collagen is often referred to as our modern day fountain of youth, and for a good reason. Our body loses its natural ability to produce collagen as we age. This is the reason why we see a visible decline in our skin, hair, and nails. Supplementing collagen can help reverse those visible signs of aging, but we have to make sure we're getting it from the right source. This multi-collagen uses a unique Blend of the top five critically most important types of collagen our bodies need to help bring back the youthfulness into our skin, hair, and nails. Folks, mix it into the morning drink once a day. That's what I do. And watch as your body re-energizes and rejuvenates itself from the inside out. Thanks to this powerful blend of collagen. If you've ever wondered how celebrities keep their skin, hair, and nails glowing, now you know. Folks, order it today to get a bundle of benefits like VIP health and fitness coaching for life and a new downloadable report called The 14 Foods for Amazing Skin, completely free. Folks, please be sure to go to healthwithla.com. That's healthwithla.com or click the link below for more information. Prehistoric man. When Daniel Boone and his associates first came to Kentucky, they found many evidences of a previous occupation of the country. Ancient graves, curious mounds of earth, some of enormous size, and fortifications of earth and stone. They naturally assume that these structures have been built by the Native Americans, the Indians, the indigenous people, I sort of added that, who then inhabited the region. But when they ask these First Nation people for an explanation of the origin and purpose of these mounds, tumuli, and forts, the Indians replied, our people did not build them. They belonged to a people whom our forefathers fought and drove from this territory. But once these people came and wherever they have gone, we do not know. Folks, this is written well over 120 years ago. It's probably in the late 1890s into the um, early part of the 20th century. This is what's been deliberately obfuscated from the peoples of the world. So when, when the white men press into these areas like Kentucky and they see all this, all this evidence of some high civilization, these are not hunter-gatherers. This is something else. And then they ask the indigenous people, well, who made this? And they say, we don't know. It was here when we got here. But our forefathers fought them. And we hear this over and over and over again. But what drives me nuts is in, in the 20s, certain people in the archaeological community stated this, that the American Indian, the First Nation people, the indigenous people of the Americas, had built all these edifices, all these forts, all these mounds, all these, like the circle mound, like the, the octagon mound, like the seat mound, but they had just forgotten they had done so. And this is the narrative we live with. This is the narrative we push back. By the way, folks, I will be at Calvary Church June 9th and 10th, Riverbend, um, Missouri. I hope to see you there. They've got room, 
So you can check that out. Also, we've had a couple of people that have, um, for whatever reason, not going to Israel. So we've got a couple of seats left over. You can go to lamarzuli.net, scroll down, speaking engagements. There you will see the link to our Israel tour. It's going to be a great tour. There's a couple of spaces open because a couple of people dropped out. Check it out. And you can go there and uh, sign up today. Um, you can also, if you've got, this is something new, if you've got a UFO sighting with footage, please don't email us in the normal email. Email us at ufo at lamarzulli.net, ufo at lamarzulli.net. We are looking for pictures, videos, and of course, testimonies. That's all the time I have for, sort of a short day, but that's okay. There is a hidden history that's been deliberately obfuscated from the peoples of the world, and that's why I am on the trail of the Nephilim.